Welcome to my channel, I'm Ari, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, a few true crime podcasts you should listen to in this time of quarantine. So we all know that social distancing is hard right now, and people don't have jobs at the moment, and they're just mostly staying home, so I thought, why not recommend some shows to listen to? And I feel like um, these shows I'm gonna recommend are the best of its kind because they're long form storytelling versus you know where one podcast talks about um a different case each episode this one will consist of uh one case over several episodes you know uncovering what might have happened in investigation all of that that's a definition of long form so i'm gonna talk about four podcasts you should check out and the first one you should see is Lisk which means Long Island Serial Killer um, this one has six episodes and like four minisodes and it has to do with the case of four victims of the Long Island Serial Killer um, they were found in December 2010 in Long Island, New York on Ocean Parkway and basically these were all young women in their early and mid 20s and they were escorts working off of Craigslist and Backpage. They were advertising themselves and which would make them very risky and vulnerable of course. So it has to do with those four uh, women who died where they where they came from their backgrounds basically and also they talk about um a fifth woman who went missing shannon gilbert and she was actually the reason why police um actually found the four uh victims on gilgo beach so it's very interesting um definitely hear it it's called lisk long island serial killer the second podcast you should listen to is Serial. This one actually came out in 2014, so it's been out there for a while. Um, it was hosted by Sarah Koenig, who worked on This American Life. You might know it. I didn't know who she was when Serial came out, but who cares? Because she was amazing. So basically, just to summarize, this case um, has to do with um, a missing high school student who disappeared in January of 1999 in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, it was just an ordinary day. Um, she vanished after school, didn't show up for work, didn't go home. So nobody knew where she was. And a month later, she was found um, dead in Lincoln Park. And basically, the whole podcast is about um, the arrest and conviction of her ex-boyfriend for her murder. And the whole, you know, it's very interesting because it talks about what might have happened to her, the investigation, number of suspects. Um, yeah, it's one of the best. And it was the first one I ever heard. And this was the show that launched a true crime wave and brought all these podcasts out into the world so we owe our thanks to that one so definitely check out Serial the third podcast you should listen to is Your Own Backyard and this one has to do with um, the case of a missing college student in California her name was Kristen Smart um, she attended Cal Poly Tech I think I don't know the exact name of the college, but Polytech, Poly College. <laughs> and what happened was she was going to a party Memorial Day weekend and um, she got really intoxicated and on her way to her dorm, she vanished. So it's about what might have happened to her and mainly one suspect who has been, who's had, you know, the police has had um, their eyes on him the whole time and he was a fellow student of the same college so um, they talk about him of course and his shady and creepy past 
and along with you know family and friends who knew Kristen so um, this is actually one of the more recent ones from 2019 and um, because of this podcast it's actually generated some news some you know developments over Kristen's case which is now 24 years old uh, so definitely check out your own backyard and the last podcast I'm gonna recommend is Bear Book this one actually takes place in 1985 in New Hampshire um, a bunch of kids were um, walking in a state park called Bear Brook and they stumble upon a, bar a barrel on the ground and there was two dead bodies in it. They both were um, two females. One was a doll and, what <laughs> and one was uh, a very small child, maybe five, seven, I'm not sure of the age. So these bodies are found. They aren't identified for a long time. And um, 15 years later, one of the detectives on the case returns to that park just, you know, just look around, investigate, whatever. And he actually stumbles upon another barrel. And this time it has two more females in it. And both of them are young, like children. One might have been like two or three and the other one four or five. And it turns out that those two were connected to the other two from uh, 15, yeah, 15 years before. Um, the adult woman was mother to two of the females, small females found, and the third one is not related to them, but still, I guess, connected to, you know, to the investigation. And um, it's a very interesting and complex case because it... Um, it goes into other investigations that happen during the same decade in different states, like um, an example of a girl that was abandoned in California in the mid 80s. She was under 10 and her dad abandoned her. So that happened and it's actually connected to the barrels that were found in New Hampshire. And then there's also the case of a uh, Asian woman who was found murdered in a home that also has a connection to those two cases and you'll figure out why and who was behind it it's uh, one of the most complex and fascinating cases out there because it's still unsolved technically I don't want to give spoilers but you should definitely listen to Bear Book once again, um, the recommendations were Lisk, Long Island Serial Killer, Serial, Your Own Backyard, and Bear Book. Thank you for watching.